Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly update show. Uh, if you could be so kind, take a second before uh, we get into the video, uh, click a like, it would help out the channel, uh, only thing we ask. And again, we will continue to try to you know figure things out on a day-to-day -day basis uh, so you can make informed, unbiased decisions. So there's a few guarantees in the world, right? Death taxes, Tesla not following through on a strong day, and the semiconductors moving up. Those are literally the only guarantees uh, in the world. But uh, all jokes aside, uh, market continues to power up. Uh, if you look at the scoreboard today, you're really not going to get a really good sense of what happened today just because it was such a mixed bag. A lot of names rested today. You know, Microsoft's of the world rested, and you know, Meta got hit a little bit. You got Google uh, with a nice rest. You know, all these names, but the semiconductors continue uh, to power up. Nvidia today uh, with another, you know, four, just a big, big move. Again, 140, 145, 150 uh, near term calls continue to be pounded uh, on a day to day basis. And now Nvidia officially overtakes. Apple and Microsoft as the world's most valuable company. It just absolutely amazing. Uh, it, again, we don't know when this euphoria is going to end, but boy, oh boy, these semiconductors are, are just absolutely on fire. And again, just it's not just uh, uh, NVIDIA. I mean, and Avago has gone, what, 400 points in the last several days, right? Uh, SMCI. Uh, yesterday, you know, went to the 920s. Today, went to almost 940. Look how close M SMCI is to taking out a macro channel, right? You know, look at ARM. Man, ARM has been just absolutely uh, in, in beast mode, just absolutely in beast mode. Um, so you still have the semiconductors powering up. Uh, they're pre predominantly, um, you know, holding up the QZ. You can make a very, very good argument um, one semiconductor, well, I mean, there's several semiconductors that are not participating. Uh, one is Intel, and the other one, most notably, is AMD. Try to figure out what the heck is going there. And this another stock that has nothing to do with the semiconductors. It's just for some reason not participating is Amazon, right? Tell me, what the heck is going on with Amazon? Every single day, we're waiting for Amazon to kind of get going, get going. It looks like it's about to get going, and then all of a sudden, it kind of falls on its face. So even though uh, we have a power up whole candle uh, type of full force rally, especially in the semiconductor names, there's some names that are just, you know, continuously just trying to get above water. And for whatever reason, uh, they just can't do so. Uh, the, another big story is Tesla. You had this massive close yesterday. You had $200 call buying all across the board. Again, when was the last time? Look, look at just look at the ch charts in the last several months. When was the last time you had a follow through day? Right? It, it's at this point, it's 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 getting comical, you know. Uh, but the good news is, uh, it yesterday had a monster day, reclaimed back a major level, and today was an inside day. That indeed is bullish. You have this big candle yesterday with 110 million shares traded today. A stock was only down a couple of points and on uh, a third of the volume. So this is honestly very, very bullish. Um, you know, hopefully if Tesla could wake up Thursday, and the reason why I say Thursday, tomorrow, if you try to log in, uh, you will notice that your platform is down because tomorrow the market is closed in observance of the Juneteenth holiday. So we are open uh, for business once again on Thursday. But the good news is for Tesla, the fact that it did have an inside day, and again, inside days are super duper bullish. Um, the fact that there is an inside day is just basically a rest spot until the stock starts waking up. Basically, here's the case in point. Here's a stock, for example, like Zillow, right? Here's a Zillow. Had a double inside day, held the five-day moving average, and the stock closed above this whole range for the first time. That's a bullish thing. So if we could have a scenario 
uh, going into Thursday's session that Tesla wakes up, gets its feet under him, starts taking out uh, yesterday's channel and confirms the highs, right? The highs from the Tesla vote of uh, Elon's package. That sounds really weird to say. She said that. I said that. That's what I said. Um, you know, maybe this thing could really start waking up, but at least bullish uh, as far as uh, technical setups on a rest day uh, going into today. Uh, names that we discussed last night, you know, last night on the vi video, you know, PLTR did super, super well today, right? Names, for example, and we'll go, we'll go through the pivots as well. Uh, Zillow, again, like I mentioned, first close, uh, first close into the, you know, first close above this whole formation uh, did very, very well today. Uh, names, for example, like uh, TTD, right? TTD uh, broke out, right? Broke out. Now, again, not the biggest move in the world. Uh, broke broke out. We talked about this yesterday. Uh, Oracle, right? We talked about this in last night's video, um, which is the, the confirming earnings highs, right? Earnings highs uh, in Oracle had a big, big move, almost closed at the highs of the day. And again, like I talked about last night, when you confirm earnings to the upside, you go higher. And I talked about last night, PATH, I started a position uh, yesterday, well, the opposite happens, right? The opposite happens uh, when you lose earnings lows, you start to uh, go lower. So there's a lot of really good action, you know, continues uh, to come apart uh, in the market. The most important thing is you have to remember every single day, your sweet spot is not going to be highlighted, right? Um, you know, most of the day today, unless you were uh, covering the semiconductor group, which again, I'm, I'm trying to buy these things into into weakness. There is no weakness to buy. That's the crazy part about it. There's absolutely no weakness uh, to buy these stocks. So I try to avoid them because again, the last thing you want to do is just keep on chasing, chasing, chasing. Eventually they rug pull and you'll lose two weeks worth of performance uh, in one candle. But let me give you guys uh, some names uh, that I definitely like for tomorrow, uh, excuse me, for Tuesday, for Thursday, uh, Kava looks really good. I believe they're. Um, I, I believe this is a, a, a fast food place. Kava looks great. Just needs to uh, reclaim the top of this channel here. We talked about uh, Zillow, uh, Instacart, right? Instacart might be a day or two away, but look how you know. Look how powerful the setup is. If Instacart on uh, next couple of days, you know, reclaims back the 50-day moving average. You know, this thing could really, really wake up. This thing looks great, right? This thing look, looks really, really great. Look at a name like uh, GEV, right? A recent IPO. Uh, it's kind of been digesting now for about a month. You know, watch this thing above this channel here. This thing wakes up. You know, this thing could go as well. So there's definitely things to do. Uh, you know, if you trade beta, majority of the beta names are going to uh, give you at least flow throughout the day. But if you look at a day like today, and we had the Christmas tree effect. You had a lot of stocks resting, as we talked about. Apple rested, and Microsoft rested, and Meta rested, and Tesla rested. It's you know, it, it's tough to continuously trade uh, into strength and hoping they continue uh, to go. So again, bull market continues. The key is keep doing the work, guys. Stay away from the extended names unless you're getting them into rising either 60 uh, or daily support. And the most important part is stick to your charts. That's it, guys. Uh, you know, people uh, go into this business looking at things always wrong. Uh, you know, you have, you have brand new traders looking for alerts and this and that, uh, telling somebody when to jump. You know, social media literally spends the whole day. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the greatest. I'm the smartest. I'm the richest. I'm this. I'm that. All you got to do is look at the charts. That's it. Okay. It, it's not about how great somebody is trying to convince you. It's all about you realizing and believing this up that you can become great one day. And again, there is no magic formula. There is no secret sauce. The cheat code of the charts, right? When stocks get above supply, they go higher. When stocks lose supply, right? Lose demand, they go lower. Nobody, guys, no, there is no person on the planet that needs to feed you stock tips, okay? Everybody has the same data, unless you're like on AOL, or some dial-up service, right? Everybody has the same data in front of them. Everybody is looking at the same chart in front of them. Nobody's smarter than you. All you need to do is look at the chart and understand the dynamics of supply and demand. And when a stock takes out supply, guess what? It should follow through. That's why these pivots, they're supposed to work. When they get through these supply levels, they're supposed to work. If they stall out, that means there's a problem. There's a reload seller in the crowd, right? Maybe it's it's uh, already 
taken out 90, 95% of its average true range. But the point is you're looking everywhere else in the world for people to give you answers while all the answers are in the chart. You have to deprogram yourself from the social media mentality. Look at me. I'm the best. I'm the richest. I'm this. I'm that. It's not about them. It's about you. You are the rock star. You just don't know it yet. So believe in yourself. Trust the process. Whatever way you decide to trade and make sure you follow through on your work. So let's talk about today's pivots. Uh, again, not a lot, right? Not a lot today. But again, you don't need a lot of this business. Uh, Oracle, we talked about 141.44. 142.40 earnings highs needs to build. Here was Oracle. This was definitely the nicest move of the day, uh, not semiconductor related. So it took out the 41.40, took out the 42.40s, uh, which is the which is the earnings highs, and traded all the way up to 45. Beautiful move. Beautiful, beautiful move on uh, Oracle. TTD not a big move. Uh, 99 needs to build. Uh, here's TTD. I still like it. They're gonna test that 100 in the next couple of days. You know, only went up about 50 cents, but it still looks higher. Um, PLTR, guys, watch PLTR. I know a lot of people are already long. Uh, guys, watch PLTR. A lot of short term, 27, 28, and a little bit longer term, uh, $30 calls are coming in. Uh, PLTR needs to confirm 25.10 and the pre market highs of 25.50. That will also confirm the 5 6 gap. Here is PLTR, right? PLTR, it broke every level here. This is the highest close in this whole formation. Is it, is it possible in the next several months, if the market continues to stay well, it fills in this gap to 29? Very possible. Again, that's where they're betting. So uh, always follow uh, the money. Uh, Boeing, uh, Boeing, you know, Boeing, you know, got hit. A little bit got hit as some bad news. 175.22, if it builds below, can flush. Again, it's not going to be a huge move. We're not in a bear market. So here is Boeing. Uh, it took out the 75.20s, went down to like 73.80s. Again, not a huge move, but... Again, not every single trade needs to be big. And last but not least, oh, listen to this. So I was trying to buy Tesla on the five-day at 181.80s. The problem is the low of the day was 182, I think, 30s. So we missed the balance by 40 cents and it rallied back like three, three and a half dollars, but whatever. Uh, and sometimes it's a game of inches. So and unfortunately, sometimes you just don't get filled. And last but not least, uh, again, Z, first close over 49, which it did, which is bullish. So that's it, guys. Uh, again, folks, for all you guys who are uh, thinking about uh, wanting to try pivots and been following me for a long time, again, guys, all you need is 30 days. You'll quickly see in a, in, in a couple of days if it's a right good fit for you. Is it a right fit for everybody? I, I, I don't believe it is just because again, if you have a $2,000 account or a $1,000 account and you're starting out trading, the last thing you should be worrying about is trading NVIDIA and Tesla and, you know, and Amazon and so forth and so on. But if you are, you know, in this industry and you're, you know, a year in, year and a half in, you just can't get going. You tried a lot of things. Again, folks, this isn't magic. It's not supposed to be magic. It's all about based on supply and demand. And that's what the PS60 theory is all about. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Tomorrow again, the market is off. The market is closed. And with all hopes and praise to God, we will see each other on Thursday. Take care, everybody. Have a great, great night.